Hi, I'm Matt, and I'm in school to become a doctor. A doctor's job is to diagnose, which means figuring out why you're sick so they can treat you. To figure something out, you need clues, kind of like a puzzle. And one way to get clues is the physical exam. And I'll show you how to do that now. The physical exam is just feeling and looking at the body. So we'll go from head to toe. First, we'll start with the eye. All you need is a volunteer and a small flashlight. It said small flashlight. It said small flashlight. I'm just going to use the flashlight on my phone. So, this is Natalia. She's a classmate of mine, and she's also in school to be a doctor. She'll act as the patient today. So when we're looking at the eye, just grab your flashlight and have the patient look straight forward. The middle of the eye is called the pupil. Now take your flashlight and shine it in from the side like this, and notice how the pupil shrinks. This happens so too much light doesn't get into the eye. Do this, and this time notice how the other eye shrinks as well. This is one way to test the brain and the eye. If you watch TV, you might notice doctors shining a light in their patient's eye after surgery or an accident. And now you know why. Next is the oral exam. You'll need a partner or you can look at your own mouth in the mirror. Do you know why doctors tell you to say ah? Can you say ah please? Uh... Notice how the back of the throat moves up. This helps us get a better look of the back of the throat and it even tests one of your brain's nerves. If you get a sore throat, take a look inside. You might notice that it's actually redder than normal. Now see if you can identify the uvula. It's that weird dangly thing in the middle. And on the sides, you might notice your tonsils. When your tonsils get too irritated, they might be taken out by a surgeon. And you actually might know someone who's had their tonsils removed. Now let's test our heart. Our pulse can tell us how fast and hard our heart is beating. So first we're gonna take our pulse on our wrist. So if you look, your forearm has two bones and these tendons in the middle. So you wanna go right in this spot, the soft spot right here, and gently press down and try to feel for a pulse. It might take some time and that's okay. And try on someone else too. And there's also your carotid pulse. That's the one you find in your neck. So between your neck muscle right here and your throat here, if you gently press, no need to jab or anything, you can find your pulse. Now there's also a pulse on the top of your foot, which you might be able to find on yourself or someone else. None of this should hurt, so make sure you stop if it does. And also try exercising and notice how your heart rate increases. For the last part of our physical exam, we have reflexes. Our reflexes test our nerves, and our nerves tell our bodies how to react. So, just like a computer cord, they send signals down to tell our muscles to contract. The knee is a great spot to test our body's lower nerves, so you'll need a partner, something thin and tough, like a phone, and I'll be using a book. Now have your patient relax on the table and have their knee dangling like this. Now, you'll notice the kneecap right here, and you'll want to go a little bit underneath it in the soft area right here. So you'll give it a real gentle tap, and you'll notice the leg will start swinging. This may take a few tries, and some people have naturally bad reflexes, so don't worry if you can't get it. And also, if you're able to relax enough, you might be able to do it on yourself. That was a lot. So please pause and repeat any part that you need. To summarize, we covered the eye, mouth, heart, and nerves. These are just a few of the many things doctors look at in order to figure out why someone's sick. I used to be afraid of seeing the doctor. Learning about what they do made me feel a little bit more comfortable. And then when I got older, I discovered that I really like it and I went to school to become one. I hope you've had fun and thanks for being a doctor with me. And for the parents, if you want another activity, Consider playing surgery. You can cut and sew together an old stuffed animal or a piece of fruit, like a banana or an orange. Some doctors actually have us practice on fruit in order to get started. Thanks for watching.